envelope. What is the definition of envelope? Generally seen, consider a family of curves. Family of curves generally represented by f of x comma y comma some parameter alpha where alpha is the parameter where alpha is the parameter alpha is the parameter means what for example say uh, if i consider y square equal to some 4 alpha x it is a parabola actually but it is called family of parabolas it is called family of parabolas family of parabolas when when alpha takes a different value you will get a different parabola you will get a parabola corresponding to each alpha so this is called family of parabolas family of parabolas that is why the general expression for family of curves is f of x comma y comma alpha now what is the definition of envelope the envelope of a family of curves the envelope of a family of curves the envelope of a family of curves is the curve is the curve means envelope is again a curve is the curve which touches which touches each member of the family which touches each curve or each member or curve of the family of the family a simple one uh, to understand this concept see for example if i consider a circle um, what is that circle take this one circle x square plus y square equal to one what is the circle x square plus y square equal to one origin is the center and radius is one unit okay and in intermediate i think you might have known this thus equation of straight lines equation of straight lines equation of straight lines x cos alpha plus y sin alpha equal to one touches touches each what is this the circle touches equation of straight line uh, is this one circle the circle touches uh, you write like this uh, all the this is a family of straight lines family of straight lines family of straight lines family of yeah straight lines mm touch the circle equation of family of straight lines family of straight lines touches the circle touches the circle x square plus y square equal to one means what uh, this is one straight line touching at this point at this point this is another straight line at this point another straight line at this point another straight line at this point another straight line which touches the circle at this point another straight line at this point another straight line at this point another straight line that means each straight line is the tangent to the circle this one the straight lines of this nature x cos alpha plus y sin alpha equal to one touches the circle x square plus y square equal to one that is why these straight lines are called these are called envelope these are called envelope for family of circles for family of circles okay this is a just anyway we will solve this problem also to find the envelope so envelope means what is the definition envelope is again a curve it is a curve which touches each member of the family which touches each member of the family which touches each member of the family now how to calculate or how to find envelope of a given curve how to find envelope of a given curve the working rule is working rule to find envelope is uh, first one let f of x y alpha f of x y alpha equal to zero be the equation of the equation of the family of curves 
equation of the family of curves equation of the family of curves then the procedure is eliminate a simple one statement eliminate alpha this one this parameter alpha from what from the given equation of the curve from the given equation of the curve and uh, the partial derivative of f partial derivative of f with respect to alpha partial derivative of f with respect to alpha these are the two equations from the two equations you have to eliminate one parameter alpha then it will give envelope eliminate alpha from these two equations then it gives envelope for the given curve envelope for the given family of curves given family of curves okay see one problem uh, based on this working rule find the equation of the envelope find the equation of the envelope of family of of family of straight lines what is the given family it is family of straight lines y equal to cx plus c square y equal to cx plus c square where c is the parameter where c is a parameter so instead of alpha here c is given instead of alpha c is given solution first one what is a given family given f of x comma y comma alpha in place of alpha c is here right so this is, is what y minus cx minus x square equal to zero f what is family of equation of the family of curves f of x comma y comma c equal zero so from the given equation make it equal to zero and let it be f of x comma y comma c right so one equation is what this one f of x comma y comma c equal to zero now what is the next one find the derivative of f with respect to c x y c that is equal to this y derivative zero and the c derivative one and this is minus x this is minus x sir sir in question ah, c yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. got it got it got it this is cx c square therefore this is minus 2c correct equal to zero another equation so from this what i'm getting c equal to uh, c equal to minus x by 2 c equal to minus x by 2 substitute substitute c in curve equation okay that is y minus cx minus c square equal to zero now in place of c we have to eliminate c anyway to get the animal up so y minus this is x square by 2 minus x square by 4 equal to zero so what is the simplification finally in sir plus y x square by 2 no sir what c equal to minus x by 2 sir and it will become plus y plus mm, y plus any more corrections right that so what is this is uh, minus x square by 2 plus x square by 4 so if i simplify this what is this 4 is lcm so 4y equal to what you will get minus x square now minus x square by 4 right so this implies x square plus 4y equal to 0 x square plus 4y equal to 0 is the equation of envelope equation of envelope equation of envelope and what is this is nothing but x square equal to minus 4y what is this parabola so for a family of straight lines y equal to cx plus c square what is the envelope parabola is the envelope and uh, i told one problem no that uh, circles yeah take this problem find the equation of the envelope find the equation of the envelope 
of family of curves of family of curves x cos alpha plus y sin alpha equal to p p where p is a constant p is what constant this p is constant pre in previous example what i have taken one i think right here one i have taken one i have taken okay and alpha is the parameter here so here also uh, p is the constant and uh, alpha is a parameter alpha is the parameter solution what is the first one given f of x comma y comma what is the parameter alpha only now this is equal to x cos alpha plus y sin alpha minus p equal to 0 minus p equal to 0 then minus p equal to 0 then what is the derivative do f of x comma y comma alpha by do alpha equal to 0 implies this is minus x sin alpha plus y cos alpha equal to 0 equal to 0 right now let us solve these two equations what is this is now solving x cos alpha plus y sin alpha equal to p one equation okay one equation another one is what uh, sin let me write uh, cos alpha terms together y cos alpha minus x sin alpha no need no need right uh, x as is what minus x sin alpha plus y cos alpha equal to zero solving these two equations anybody what is solving these two what we are i'm getting see anybody yes x square plus y square is equal to p square by squaring and That's some it, right squaring okay yes. coming right squaring and uh, taking summation taking sum we have x square plus y square equal to p square what is this circle okay which is the circle and is the equation and uh, is the equation of envelope equation of envelope okay so for straight lines that means straight lines are like this the straight lines are like this okay you can draw straight lines and this circle touches each straight line this circle touches each member of the straight line each member of the family of straight lines x cos alpha plus y sin alpha equal to p that is why this circle is the envelope for the family of straight lines family of straight lines this is about envelope a simple concept now take some assignment problems
వస్తుందా నెట్ చూడండి Is it visible? No, sir. No, sir. It is not visible. No, sir. Suddenly, the internet is very slow. I think check it now. Yes, sir. Now, yeah. Ekada pano, ekada varik question meko. Assignment questions. Yeah, okay. y square equal to 4ax a is the parameter x cos alpha next one y by b sin alpha equal to 1 alpha is the parameter alpha is a parameter next one mm. sir what is that above problem you didn't teached where problem x square by a square plus y square by c power four, but that one you did. Yeah, you have to solve that. Hey, it is also assignment, but this is this is given a constant ellipse, area of constant ellipse. I have given hint. No sir, you didn't. You didn't show that question, sir. What? You We didn't saw that, that question, question, sir. Oh ho ho ho! Now, okay, see second one, na? Yes, sir. first okay, one see. first one first one assignment okay second one see we didn't see the question now is it visible yes sir see the first problem is assignment x square plus y square my already this problem is over na this is okay na yeah that one we finish sir that one is finished right coming to assignment first problem is it is a x square plus y square minus 2px plus p square by 2 equal 0 it is the family of circles whose center lies on x axis you can do this problem right only p is the parameter single parameter now coming to this second assignment problem saying find the envelope of a system of concentric and coaxial ellipses of constant area first thing the general form of ellipse, ellipse equation is what x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 this is the equation of a concentric and a coaxial ellipse and uh, you know what is the area of the ellipse pi ab and what is it is given as constant area so pi ab equal to constant and remember in calculating envelope we we must have only one parameter only one parameter now in equation family of ellipses there are two parameters a and b are the parameters so i have to eliminate one parameter first for that in the question it is given one hint the area of the ellipse is constant that means pi ab equal to constant area of the ellipse is pi ab and it is constant i am taking that constant as pi c square just assumption why is our y pi pi c square i can cancel this uh, pi pi on both sides therefore ab equal to c square y c squares are maybe c also doesn't matter okay you can take ab equal to c or some fixed constant where c is the constant value so from ab equal to c i can write ab equal to c i can write b equal to c by a or c square by a now substitute this eliminate this b from the ellipse equation x square by a square Plus y square by b square. B square becomes what? C power four by a square equal to one. Now this is my equation having how many parameters? Only one parameter a. That means what is my equation now? F of x comma y comma a equal to zero. That is x square by a square plus y square by b square y square by c power four a power four minus one equal to zero. This is first equation. What is another equation? I can write another equation is what? Do f by do a equal to zero. Get this, and this is equation two. Solve this one and two for elimination of a. That gives envelope. Okay, this is one model problem involving two parameters. We have to eliminate one parameter by using the given condition. And next one, y square equal to four x parabola. Again, this is a straight line. Okay, and uh, lastly, I will give only one more. 
Mm. Already it is done. Mm. Y equal to mx plus root of a square m square plus b square. M is a parameter. M is a parameter. Okay. This is envelope topic. What is the next topic in the sub syllabus? Anybody? What is the next topic? Sanjana, next topic in Dhamma. Beta, gamma, and it, uh, error functions. Evaluation of uh, definite and improper integrals. Uh, definite yeah. and improper integrals. Ah, uh, yeah, definite and improper integrals. That one uh, uh, covered that will, that means definite and indefinite integrals in beta, gamma functions, clearly. Okay. So for that, uh, let me start with gamma function. Gamma function. See, the gamma function is defined as, uh, to understand clearly, better, let me write, Now, uh, you take n, n is a positive integer, the gamma function is defined as the gamma function is defined as, see this is the notation for gamma, gamma of n, one can write like this, gamma n, no problem, or write like this like a square root triangle in, in just like this gamma n okay these are the notations for gamma n gamma n equal to it is the integral and for the integral the limits must be zero to infinity remember this okay if you understand this uh, uh, what logics you can write gamma function in anywhere gamma what is this value n only and it is an integral and limits must be zero to infinity, not minus infinity to infinity, not one to infinity, must lower limit must be zero, upper limit must be infinity. And uh, integrand, integrand is, integrand means we inside the integration, e to the power of minus x into, what is this? This first term must be e to the power of minus x only, not minus 2x, not minus 3x, not x by 2, like that. What is this? x coefficient must be one e power minus x that's all okay it is called actually kernel this is called what is this is called kernel okay inside the integration what is the first integrand e power minus x into whatever this x is here now this power x is here now that must be x here power n minus 1 power n minus 1 dx what is the next term this next term is what this exponential this whatever this power x is there that must be here and its power must be n minus 1 if it is n minus 1 if it is n minus 1 then gamma is a function of n gamma is a function of n this is the definition of gamma function so once again i am writing what is this limits must be 0 to infinity this must be e power minus x and this x must be base here and its power is if it is n minus 1 what is i can write this is gamma of n okay or one can write like this also 0 to infinity e power minus x x power if it is n see if power is n minus 1 then add 1 that is n now what is the power n so this becomes what gamma n plus 1 this becomes what gamma n plus 1 here n is a positive integer here n is positive integer no, no, no. N is a positive value. That's it. Not integer. Here N is a positive real value. Positive value. Now, now this is the definition of gamma function. Uh, what is gamma 1 then? If I write gamma 1, gamma 1, 
means 0 to infinity e power minus x x power this is 1 if it is n then exponent is n minus 1 decrease 1 unit now this is 1 so this is x power 0 x power 0 so this is 0 to infinity e to the power of minus x dx so this is minus e to the power of minus x 0 to infinity this is minus e power minus infinity 0 and this is 1 so value 1 value 1 therefore gamma of one value is one gamma of one value is one another one reduction formula what is this uh, to study the properties of gamma function to study the properties of gamma function the reduction this formula is useful what is the formula gamma of n plus one gamma of n plus one only n plus one not n plus 2 n plus 3 like that n plus 1 then this is equal to n into gamma n this n this n right here n into gamma of n n into gamma of n see a simple proof for this what is gamma of n plus 1 formula 0 to infinity e to the power of minus x it is fixed and x power what is this is n plus 1 therefore this must be n e power minus x into x power n now apply bypass formula for this apply bypass formula for this uh, this is derivative part this is derivative part and this is integrating part first derivative part as it is derivative part as it is x power n and e power minus x integration minus e power minus x okay this total between what limits 0 to infinity minus integral 0 to infinity x power n derivative n into x power n minus 1 into e power minus x this this part i have to write minus e power minus x integrating part as it is then your bypass formula see here don't apply repeated bypass formula repeated in repeated bypass formula when we have to apply repeated bypass formula in fourier series if for the derivative part if i increase the number of derivatives it goes to zero it is not possible here okay so only two terms general standard formula this is now let me apply this uh, upper limit this is upper limit means what e power minus infinity is zero and the lower limit zero x zero into something zero so the first term will be zero minus into minus plus zero to infinity e to the power of minus x i'm writing first into x power n minus one dx and this n i'm writing outside n and what is this definition what is this part gamma function 0 to infinity this is equal to n into what is this this is n minus 1 this is n minus 1 means gamma is a function of n so gamma of n plus 1 is equal to n into gamma n this is reduction formula for example i need gamma 3 simple gamma 3 then i can write gamma 2 plus 1 then what is this yeah, what is n value here n value this is n equal to 2 here so n into gamma n so 2 into gamma 2 and again gamma 2 can be written as 1 plus 1 so n plus 1 n value is 1 here so 2 into 1 into gamma 1 and what is gamma 1 1 so 2 similarly now listen if i want to write gamma n plus 1 if n is integer if n is positive integer I am taking if n is positive integer and keep this one in mind n is positive integer that means 3 4 like that this is gamma n plus 1 i can write n into gamma n by using reduction formula again i can write this since it is an integer see this i have written n into gamma 2 written again 2 is written as what 1 plus 1 so n can be written as what n minus 1 plus 1 got it n minus 1 plus 1 okay now again apply reduction formula this is n into this is like gamma gamma n this is treated as n gamma n plus 1 so this is n into gamma n what is gamma n again gamma n minus 1 becomes n into gamma n now again this can be written as gamma n minus 1 can be written as n minus 2 plus 1 this is one part now again apply reduction formula n into n minus 1 this is n minus 2 into what gamma n minus 2 if i proceed in this manner what i am getting finally n 
n minus 1 n minus 2 n minus 3 and so on 3 2 1 lastly gamma 1 will be there like here you will get gamma 1 value that is 1 so what is this is nothing but n factorial so gamma n plus 1 value is n factorial n factorial if n is positive integer if n is positive integer okay any doubts concept is clear na gamma function gamma function standard formula remember this 0 to infinity e power minus x and gamma n means the power must be n minus 1 okay and gamma 1 value i'm using and reduction formula reduction formula gamma n plus 1 equal to n into gamma n and just a proof small proof and uh, if i apply reduction formula for positive integer Redu actually reduction formula for all real positive real numbers and uh, if integer and uh, let me write here gamma n plus 1 is equal to n into gamma n if if n is positive real if n is positive real this is the formula gamma n if it is integer then n factorial if it is integer then n factorial okay now uh another one beta function there are so many properties are there just uh, from monday onwards offline class now that is why today i will tell only basic concepts of alpha and beta where many problems are there we will teach uh, we will learn offline mode beta function what is the definition of beta function beta m comma n beta not simply single uh, not single constant like n uh, here two values are there b m and n beta m n equal to what is the definition it is also an integral but limits are 0 to 1 but limits are 0 to 1 not 0 to infinity limits are 0 to 1 and uh, previously what we have gamma n limits are 0 to infinity what is the first term e power minus x and corresponding to this n the power must be n minus 1 only here there is no kernel in beta function directly corresponding to this m if it is m then x power must be m minus 1 into this is n and uh, here in place of x write 1 minus x n minus 1 dx n minus 1 dx where both m and n are positive real numbers both m and n are positive real numbers this is the beta function definition once again beta mn if it is m m is the m is the power of x m is the power of x n is the power of 1 minus x keep this one in mind once again how to remember this beta m n write this limits are 0 to 1 write x and 1 minus x dx this is m means x power must be m minus 1 this n means 1 minus x power must be n minus 1 like this you remember this is beta mn and uh, these functions in polar coordinates and uh, uh, we have to write in we have to write this one also gamma function okay let me write this one in polar coordinates beta function mm, let us put to simplify this expression uh, and symmetry let me tell symmetry property now beta n comma m 0 to 1 beta n comma n already first one is fixed x and 1 minus x x and 1 minus x this is what n means here n minus 1 and here m minus 1 here m minus 1 is it correct right is both are same beta m n equal to beta n m yes sir yes yes sir still any doubt let me uh, clarify you in a different manner what is that now put uh, to get that one here i have to get 1 put 1 minus x equal to y put 1 minus x equal to y then what is dx equal to minus dy correct differentiating this right then okay then what is above expression beta mn 
and what is this one minus x is changed to y what is x value then x equal to what uh, one minus y right so this is one minus y whole power m minus one and this is one minus one minus uh, x is y now directly you can write one minus x is y y power y power n minus one and what is dx value minus dy and what about the limits see what is x y y equal to what y equal to one minus x at x equal to zero what is y value one at x equal to one y value zero so limits becomes y equal to one to zero these are the limits for x now limits for y now since minus is there yeah okay since minus is there this minus is there I can write this as 0 to 1, 0 to 1, I will write y first, y power n minus 1, 1 minus y power m minus 1 dy. Now uh, by the definition of beta function, beta, I can write in place of x, y is there, that's it, right? So what is this is, if it is n minus 1, then n, this is m minus 1, this is m, okay? Therefore, what is the condition? Therefore beta m n is equal to beta n m this is called symmetry property this is called symmetry property and now expressing beta and uh, beta function in terms of uh, polar coordinates what is beta m n now beta m n equal to 0 to 1 x to the power of m minus 1 1 minus x to the power of n minus 1 dx now to get put x equal to put x equal to you know intermediate techniques in simplification i'm putting x equal to here sine square theta then what is dx equal to to sine theta cos theta and d theta okay now when x equal to 0 this lower limit x equal to 0 then what is sine square theta 0 right from this sine square theta 0 this gives theta 0 when x equal to 1 sine square theta value 1 so theta value is what pi by 2 theta value pi by 2 therefore take this as 1 so 1 gives beta m n equal to limits becomes what for theta 0 to pi by 2 x x means what sine square theta whole power m minus 1 this is 1 minus sine square theta whole power n minus 1 what is dx 2 sine theta cos theta d theta okay that is equal to 0 to pi by 2 uh, 2 outside this is what sine power 2 m minus 2 theta this is cos square so i can write cos power 2 n minus 2 theta into sine theta cos theta d theta okay this is equal to so beta mn in terms of sine sine cosines is 2 into 0 to pi by 2 sine to the power you have to remember this 2 power m minus 1 if it is m then sine power must be 2 m minus 1 cos 2 n minus 1 theta d theta this is another formula for beta function in terms of sines and uh, cosines in terms of sines and uh, cosines same logic for gamma mm. same logic for gamma for gamma function for gamma function what is gamma of n equal to 0 to infinity e to the power of minus x x to the power of n minus 1 dx x to the power of n minus 1 dx now what uh, what is the substitution Acha, the, you have to get this one mm, okay i will tell give this gamma in terms of sine and cosines improving gamma 1 by 2 you will get improving gamma 1 by 2 anyway this proof is important gamma 1 by 2 there you will get the expression for gamma in terms of sines and cosines in terms of sines and cosines so i'm not giving here okay and uh, one uh, hint is here one hint is uh, gamma of okay okay any doubts till now in beta and gamma 
so remember how to write gamma function how to write beta function and the properties i will stop here uh, on monday how many of you coming to college i will come sir oh i, I will also come, come sir